glance, it seems simple to tell one type of butterfly from the next. Their boldly coloured wings appear to differentiate one species from another. But predators must beware, the wings of butterflies tell lies. Some butterflies have evolved wings that resemble those of more poisonous species, a clever deception. In other cases, two equally poisonous species have evolved together to become mirror images of each other. The Amazonian butterfly Heliconius pneumata has evolved in this way. This one species has many different wing patterns, copied from several different species from the Melanea genus. This kind of shared evolution is called Malarian mimicry. Together, Heliconius and Melanea spread an important message to would-be predators. Don't eat us, we taste bad. Their similar appearance makes them part of a cooperative that protects them from being eaten. While scientists knew Malarian mimicry was at work in these butterflies, it was unclear how Heliconius could derive so many different wing patterns from only one set of genes. In the mid-1970s, scientists proposed that the wing mimicry of Heliconius was under the control of something called a supergene, a long stretch of DNA that contains many smaller genes. In the supergene, individual genes are immune to the random mixing and matching that normally occurs in sexual recombination. This is how Heliconius manages to keep its various wing patterns separate. Although the concept of a supergene fits with what scientists observed in the field, no one has ever seen how it works, until now. A study of Heliconius DNA led by French scientist Mathieu Joron shows that the supergene breaks and then recombines into several different configurations. Each arrangement creates a specific wing pattern, the mirror image of a Melanea species. By mimicking its poisonous cousins, Heliconius is safer from the greedy gaze of predators, so natural selection favours these preset patterns, and by extension, the genes that create them.